Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to control a Sonoff smart switch using Amazon Echo Dot and Google Assistant. So even if you don't have an Amazon Echo and if you have a smartphone, you can still control your device using your voice from anywhere in the world using Google Assistant. I'll try to keep this video short and quick, so please stay till the end of this video. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to use the Sonoff app that's called EV Link to control a lamp using Smart Switch. If you have not seen that video, I have left the link in the description below so that you can check it out. As you can see here, I have connected a CFL bulb to the Sonoff Smart Switch and I have powered it on and it's connected to my Wi-Fi network. I have already created the Sonoff account using the EV Link app with my mobile number as the user ID. And I have also logged into the app and I have added a device called a lamp which I can turn on or turn off using the app. Now let's move to the Amazon Alexa device. I have turned on the Amazon Echo Dot and let me open the Alexa app. To control this lamp using the Echo Dot, first I need to link the Sonoff account using my Amazon Alexa account and this can be done by adding an Alexa skill. So I'll go to the Alexa skill in the menu and search for a skill which is called EV Link. So we have found that skill and we need to enable it before we can use that. So I'll go ahead and click that enable button. So it says account linking in progress and let me go ahead and open that in the chrome browser so basically it is redirecting me to the login page of the ev link so we need to give our credentials here and log in to the uh, ev link uh, account so i'll go ahead and select the country and i'll enter my account details and come back so it has given me a confirmation that the account has been successfully linked and I'll go ahead and close this page. So now it's asking me to discover the device. So let me go ahead and click that button. So guys, it has discovered that I have a device called LAMP that I originally created in my Sonoff account. So now I'll go to the Groups tab and try to create a group called uh, Bedroom and I'll try to map this uh, LAMP to the Bedroom. I'll select Bedroom and click Next and I'll select the LAMP and Save. So it has created the group called Bedroom. I'll go inside the Bedroom. And now it gives me two options uh, for the lamp which is to turn on and turn off. Sometimes it reports problems with connectivity or it can report an incorrect status of the switch but it does get resolved automatically. You can notice that there is a message there was a problem but still I think I should be able to switch on or switch off the bulb without any problem. I can even click on the lamp and click on this big icon to control the device. So now let me use my voice to control this uh, device. Alexa turn on the bedroom lamp. Okay. Alexa turn off the lamp. Okay. And there you go. So it just works flawlessly and it's very fast. So now let's move to the Google Assistant. I don't have a physical device of uh, Google Home. Instead I have installed the Google Assistant app from uh, Play Store uh, which is completely free. Similar to Amazon Alexa, I'll use my voice to give my commands but in this case I'll be using my smartphone. So let me first open the Google Assistant app. First, we need to change the language to English US in the settings. 
what I found was the option which is home control in the settings is enabled only for this language and it did not show up for the Indian language. So the next step is to link the Google account with the Sonoff account similar to the way we did for Alexa app. So I'll click on this blue color button here and go to the settings and scroll down and look for the menu item called home control. So currently it says I have not added any devices. I'll click on this add button. So it shows me a list of uh, smart home uh, service providers. So I'll scroll down and look for the EV link uh, app. So there is a service called smart V link. So I'll click on this and open that in the Chrome app. So again, it has redirected me to the authentication page. And this is the uh, login for the Sonoff account. So I'll go ahead and uh, login. So I have keyed in my credentials and it's currently linking my account and it has done and it has uh, found that I have a device called lamp and it is asking me to assign this to a room. So let me select uh, maybe dining room and click on the done button. So it has been assigned and uh, it gives me some of the commands that I can use to control this uh, device. So as you can see now it has added a device in the home control screen and I can now use my voice to control this uh, device. So let me go ahead and try this now. Okay Google, turn on the lamp. Sure, turning on the lamp. Okay Google, turn off the dining room lamp. So guys, as you can see, it does work flawlessly and it works every time whenever I give the command to control this uh, device. And it also understands that I was referring to the dining room light when I referred it as just a lamp without mentioning the location as such. So it has some intelligence built in as well since I did not have any other device attached to this account. So with this, I would like to end this video and I would also like to thank all of you for your wonderful support and encouragement that you have been providing me. Without this, I wouldn't have got the motivation to make all these videos. I hope this video helped you. Please like, comment and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.